Previously on Chasing Life. Please don't interrupt my session. I'm going to share this office. I need some respect, too. Yeah, is she crazy? What's wrong with her? I take prescription drugs for anxiety and depression. I wanted to see what were to happen if I were to go off of them. I'm getting a scoop on Richie Miranda. Are his contracts up soon? I'm hearing trade rumors. Richie's hiding in the VIP area. You have some more of that stuff? Don't act like I'm uptight if I'm not cool with my boyfriend snorting drugs into his brain. If we weren't both sick, would we still even want to be together? So I went to this club last night to interview Richie Miranda. He's doing drugs again. This is the job you signed up for. This could really screw up his life. And his last drug test had come in clean, but given this new allegation by the Boston Post, he will be tested again. How's it feel to make news? It feels freaking great. That's how. Today, John. Usual. Here you go. Latte, please. Coming right up. Thank you. April Carver. Do you need ID? You're the April Carver that writes for the Post, huh? Yeah. Wow, I didn't think people paid attention to names of writers in newspapers. Thank you so much for saying something. You're the one trying to bring down my man, Richie Miranda. If he fails that drug test, he's going to get suspended. Thanks for nothing. Excuse me? Fact is, the guy shouldn't be playing ball if he's a coke cat. Well, no, Richie means no World Series for the Sox. You know what that means? No coffee. I'm sorry. You are refusing to serve me because I wrote an article reporting the truth? I don't serve traitors. This is ridiculous. I'm filing a complaint. Of course you are, because you're a knock. Next. Regular. I am so jealous you got recognized as a journalist. Seriously, do you know how hard that is these days? Unless you started WikiLeaks. Yeah, well, I can see why that guy went into exile. Persecution sucks. Uh-oh, backlash from the article? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'd stay away from that fake creamer. That stuff is supposed to, like... Cause cancer? Yeah, I already had that. You're not regretting writing the article, are you? No way. I mean, I was doing my job. And yeah, part of me feels bad that Richie might get suspended, but he did do coke, and I would have regretted not writing it way more. Well, good. Just remember that in about five seconds. Boston Forever writes, Bill Buckner and April Carver, two people in this town that make me think the Salem witch trials weren't such a bad idea. See, I really like how he weaved in a little bit of local history, and that's nice. Who's Bill Buckner? Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> and for not knowing that, I'm gonna go ahead and like this comment. You do that, and since you lost the bet, you will have plenty more time to surf blogs and Facebook pages while you're waiting in line to get me tacos. Yeah, you kind of look like a My Little Pony with the purple hair. And that's what I was going for. <laughs> so, how are you feeling? Oh, like a million times better. And thank God you and Kieran stopped me from getting a tattoo. I have no idea what I was thinking. Are you, like, back on your meds now, or...? No, but I'm fine. I think it was just a reaction to going off of them all of a sudden, you know? So you're not taking them at all anymore? I don't know. I'll see how I feel. Do you think your parents will notice? <laughs> Between golf games and dinner parties, I highly doubt it. I have a present for you. What? I think you're gonna love it. It's the same one you saw at that duty-free store in Florida. The one I had to, like, drag you away from. The one that costs, like, $300. Who cares? You like it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> you sure? Full disclosure, I've been stalking it online to see if it ever went on sale. It did it. I know. <laughs> <gasps> wow, this place is amazing. Oh, and the best part was that when I gave my name at the door, not a single person seemed to recognize it. Yeah, I think you're safe here. I doubt anyone even knows who Richie Miranda is. It's old girls and gays. Ooh, is this your boss's new line? Actually, this is my boss's dirty laundry. I'm Jacqueline's personal assistant, so I handle feeding her, managing her dry cleaning, walking her dog. 
I'm like a first assistant. What's her first assistant do? <sighs> Sends selfies to her boyfriend. <laughs> well, she only got this job because she claims to be Vera Wang's niece. The first assistant gets to put together this preview party that we're hosting for some buyers, and she gets to do all the fun stuff while my sole responsibility is taking care of the food. So what's new with you? Have you talked to Leo yet? No, I'm not even sure I want to. I feel like I just, I've seen this scary new side of him and I don't want that right now. You always knew he had an edge, right? I guess it just felt different before. You know, he hasn't really been the same since the surgery and maybe I haven't either. April? Could you please pass the trader, I mean the salt? Thank you. I'll take a little more of the backstab salad. Grandma, what is going on? Uh, well, Pearl and I had a little wager this week on the socks. Now it looks like I'm going to lose. Oh, Mom, don't make April feel bad. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> hey, um, Grandma, do you mind passing the sore loser? <laughs> <laughs> hey, so tell us about the reunion. I've been dying to hear all about it. Oh, it was fun. Just fine. It looked like you're having fun in the pictures you posted. I really have to change my privacy settings. Come on, tell us. Mm. I really don't have any stories. I, I don't even remember what we did, really. You don't remember. You just got back. Mm. Oh, oh, good. Brenna's home. Hi. <laughs> Brenna's home late. I know. Sorry. Karen called last minute. They were short-staffed, so I filled in. Next time, let me know, please. Okay, sorry. Uh, Brenna, come with me. I need your help on the computer. You still haven't told us about the reunion. How do you change who can and can't see your photos? <laughs> Coming up next in the 8 o'clock hour, Red Sox player Richie Miranda breaks the silence after the Boston Post reported a story yesterday alleging that he is off the wagon. We will release that statement exclusively after the break. Good morning, Danny, and good morning, America. Okay. Can you believe they're talking about my story on GMA? I'm, like, making news. I'm a newsmaker. Good to see you're staying grounded. Going camping? Nope. I slept here. My daily commute's an hour and 47 minutes. So if I sleep here twice a week, by the end of the month, I'll have a two-day lead on everyone else. Oh, hey, turn it up. Miranda's statement is as follows. I am shocked and saddened by the inaccurate and slanderous story published by the Boston Post. I take my sobriety very seriously and will do whatever it takes to set the record straight. The fact is, I have not used illegal drugs of any kind since leaving rehab. Yeah, you're... Definitely making news. Madeline, I need to talk to Aaron. He's out of the office and unavailable. I get it. He's busy. He's always busy. This is about Richie Miranda. He's saying that... I know. Aaron knows. And he's really unavailable, okay? <sighs> this isn't good, Danny. It's basically my word against his. <sighs> well, was anyone else there with you? To corroborate your story? Yes. Who? Why? To corroborate your story. I can't say. If I pull them into this, they could get in trouble, too. Well, you might get into even bigger trouble. It's them or you. <laughs> Do you think I should mention Leo's name? I mean, if it comes down to it. Well, isn't a good reporter supposed to, like, never reveal their sources? Even when said source decided to go all 80s and do blow at an event where I was working and then have the nerve to get angry at me for being pissed? Okay, first, why don't we uh, step away from the knife? Okay, the strawberries didn't do anything to you. Fine. All right, I got it. <laughs> as much as I want to, I just can't drag him into this. Because you're falling for him? And now, George Stephanopoulos thinks I'm a liar. Hey, I doubt George Stephanopoulos has an opinion about you personally, but, you know, he might actually know who you are now, and he's so hot, that's a big deal. Right? Most people your age are, like, cleaning their boss's cars, myself included. It's, it's actually where I found this. Ooh. Yep. Was Jacqueline going to notice? Uh, it was in a gift bag, not 2009. Well, I guess we can celebrate my first appearance on GMA. Actually, it's for me. 
Um, Jacqueline Fry at her first assistant today. What? You got promoted? No. No. Uh, Jacqueline doesn't think I have enough experience to do Tracy's job, but see, I know if I can step up at this event, I can get her to change her mind. Well, how are you going to do that? Well, okay, so Tracy got fired because she was meant to hire these models for the show. She screwed up the dates, and now the girls we want aren't available, and Jacqueline doesn't like any of the other models. She keeps saying they don't look like real teens. Mm. What should I do? Maybe hang out at the local high school and ask some real teen girls if they want to be models? Uh, well, it feels like it's just one step from luring little kids into a van, so... A little bit. Mm. I live with the real teen. Um, no. Come on, come on, it's not like, it's not like real modeling. You know, there's no runway or anything. You just have to wear the clothes for an hour while I stare at you. Oh, yeah, well, in that case... Oh, come on, Bren, it'll be easy. Do I get to keep the clothes? Yes. Oh, look, look, I know I'm not doing, like, a great job of selling this, but I'm desperate, okay? And you'll save my life. Ugh, fine. Fine. <laughs> yes, do you think Ford would do it, too? Have you met Ford? Uh, oh. Rebecca Minkoff? Nice. Where did you get that? Goodwill. Really? Hmm? Okay, so Ford is out, uh, but do you have any other friends that might want to model? Um, what about Greer? She's really into that stuff. Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. Uh, wait, I thought Mom said you guys weren't allowed to see each other anymore. Can't they see each other just this once? It's not a big deal. I mean, we're just hanging out as friends. Don't tell Mom, though. She just wouldn't get it. Come on, I've kept secrets for you before. One really big one in particular. Oh, if someone's parked in your client space again, it's not one of my patients. No one here but me. No, they're not. I, uh, I just wanted to... Well, do... what? Do the plants in the waiting room need watering? Is the bathroom out of TP again? Sarah, stop. Everything's fine with the office. But I'm glad you assume the only reason I ever opened my mouth is to complain about something. I'm actually here with some good news. I got Aditi's visa extended another three months, and I'm filing to get her a green card under the family preference category. Oh, that's great. Did you know that Malala Yousafzai's giving a speech at Harvard this week? Yeah, I did. I tried to get tickets. They're sold out. Well, I got tickets with a friend, and he just bailed on me. So, no. <laughs> if you're interested. Yeah, that's... How much do you want for them? No. <laughs> I meant if you would want to come with me. Oh, okay. That, yeah, that, <laughs> sure. Yes, that sounds fun. Yeah. No. No. I'm sorry. God, no, not fun. What happened to that poor girl was horrible. No, yeah. it's, it'll be edifying. Exactly. It, it will definitely not be fun. <laughs> I'm starting to worry you don't actually have a place to live. Oh, I'm starting to worry that you're already four hours behind me this week. April? Oh, finally, can I talk to Aaron now? Miss Callahan would like to see you. Miss Callahan? The publisher of the paper. God, why are you so lucky? I mean, I know you had cancer and stuff, but still... April, she wants to see you now. Miss Callahan, I'm April. Richie Miranda passed his drug test. What? So explain to me why I shouldn't fire you right now. Ma'am, if we could just invite Aaron into this conversation, he could... Aaron is gone. I fired him. This article should never have been published without my consent. And now Miranda's people are suing us. So again, why shouldn't I fire you right now? I know what I saw. Richie is lying, I swear. I love my job and I take it... And, and I love not being sued. Although, drop everything if we print a retraction. And if we print a retraction of this scope, we fire the writer. Please don't fire me. I will... I will write a follow-up piece. Stand by my story. Not enough. 
I'll do an interview. Yeah, like, uh, go on camera, defend myself, what, whatever it takes if you think it'll help. Well, this is on a national radar, so you'd need a national on-camera interview. ASAP. Thank you. Oh, no, don't take me yet. Just get ready for it. We can't afford any more mistakes. Aaron's gone? Damn it! He loved me. That was his D-Dog. Well, focus, D-Dog, or I'm gonna be next to go. What? What was I thinking? I have to, like, speak for the post. I'm sure there's a way you can get ready for this. What are you gonna look up? How to not lose your job and stay calm during a national interview where millions of people are watching, waiting for you to screw up so they can post those scripts on the internet until the end of time? Yeah, it's not coming up in my search. Hey, what if you hire one of those political coaches who help politicians get ready for debates and stuff? With what money? I can barely afford coffee. Oh, since you've been blacklisted from the coffee cart, you probably have at least five bucks saved. Hilarious. I do know one person who could help. She has experience in TV news, so she'd know what questions they'll ask. She has the perfect soundbite for any press situation, and she never lets her emotions get in the way of anything. You don't mean... Yeah, my future ex-wife. You busy right now? Am I asleep? No. And you can assume I'm busy. Not sure if the news has made its way down to you, but Aaron... Is fired. I know. Uh, Miss Callahan just told me. You met Karen Callahan? Yeah. She wanted to talk to me about the whole he said, she said situation. I told her I'd go on camera and do an interview, and I've never done one before. So I was wondering if maybe you could help me prepare. You're really just so good at, at what you do. First rule of TV interviews. People can tell when you're being fake. I'm not being fake. I'm sucking up and desperate. But if, if you don't have time, I can always just tell Miss Callahan that you were too busy to help. 9 a.m. tomorrow. We start coaching. Thank you. Changed my mind about wanting to keep the clothes. <laughs> yeah, I know. I should win an Oscar for pretending to like them. These are awful. Oh, please look at you. You can pull off anything. Oh, ah, oh, how exquisite. I know, right? So gorgeous. Wait. Is exquisite. You're clever. <laughs> you remind me of my friend Gwen. She's always teasing me. Stefani. <gasps> you are a doll. You just embody this line. You look like an angel in my dress. <gasps> now, I designed this to represent the innocence of teens. So how would you feel about wearing the signature piece in my new line, walk out last, my big finale. Okay. Beth? Beth? Wait, yeah. can you get me a soda? Sure. <laughs> I know they're terrible for you. <laughs> Annie is always telling me I need to stop. <laughs> Hathaway. Can you make sure that there's a, a healthy option on the menu, Candace, so that she might stop by? Bushnell? Cameron Bure? Right. <laughs> I forgot the food. Well, I have to warn you. I have trouble telling some of these women apart. It's because they're all rich and have the same guy who does their noses. They ask for the Charlies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I appreciate you trying to help distract me. No, it's really not right that you're even in this situation at work. I know. It totally sucks. And you're being called a liar when he did drugs? Yep. Now, can we just... Chill out and watch grown women stab each other in the back. You know. And they have the nerve to make you go on camera and defend yourself. Sorry, he'll stop. Hey, why aren't you out with Leo? Um, we, um, we kind of had a fight. He's been all over the place, and I'm just starting to think that he's not boyfriend material after all. I'm always doing all the work. 
I'm sure it feels that way, but he is trying. How do you know? I don't think it would be ethical for me to say. Ethical? Are you, like, counseling him? No, not officially, no, but April, he, he's dealing with a lot right now. You might just want to be a little bit compassionate. Well, he's not making it easy. I'm gonna go to bed. Are you mad at me? No, I just... I should rest up for my training session tomorrow. Yeah, it is late. Why isn't Grandma home? Oh, she's probably out celebrating with Richie Miranda. Can I ask you something? Do you think she has seemed a little... off lately? Like, forgetful? The last time we hung out with Grandma, she was calling out all the answers to an entire round of Jeopardy, remember? It was really annoying. Yeah, you're right. I'm being paranoid. I'm probably the one who's losing it. Come on. Give me a heart attack. Are you trying to give me one? Why are you sneaking in? I wasn't sneaking in. Well, what's with the tiptoeing? Why didn't you turn on a light? Where were you? The club. Dressed like that? It was themed. We were reading a book about the, the Roaring Twenties. What book? I can't remember. I mean, <laughs> book clubs. <laughs> Who even talks about the book? Mom, I would hope that if you're starting to feel a little not like yourself, that you would tell uh, me. Are you asking if I have Alzheimer's? No, I just, I, I, I don't know. Don't you remember two nights ago I dominated at Jeopardy? Yes, but... I'm worried something is going on with you. M my memory is fine, but if you must know, I'm dating someone. Good night. Did you have any alcohol the night you allegedly saw Richie Miranda do cocaine? No, Richie was the only one. Stop. Start over. Don't call him Richie, he's not your buddy. Refer to him as Mr. Miranda or use his full name. Okay, sorry. You were coherent enough to say unequivocally that Richie Miranda was doing cocaine. Yes. You saw this with your own eyes. Mm -hmm. Was anyone with you? Don't look around the room and don't hesitate. You look like you're hiding something. Why are you looking at me like that? Like what? You have a look on your face. You can't have a look on your face. You have to be relaxed and friendly but professional and don't let your voice get high-pitched. Can we take a break? You can't take a break during your interview. I know, okay? And you definitely can't use that tone with your interviewer. I just, I wish I didn't have to do this. I know it's the only way to prove that I'm right and avoid getting but fired. If you this interview, you're gonna get fired anyway. <sighs> Let's not be naive here, April. You're about to go up on a podium to defend yourself publicly. You have to nail this or the newspaper is gonna look even worse for keeping you on after canning the editor. That was supposed to motivate you. Hey. Oh, so the, the talk's at 6 tomorrow. Oh, great. Yeah, I'm excited. I mean, to, to see Malala. It's a rare opportunity to... Should be lots to talk about. You know, maybe we could go grab a little dinner after. If that's okay. No, I'm sorry, look, I, I I just got out of something and it's kind of like I don't feel ready to commit to anyone right now and you know, part of it is just that, can I ask you, how, how old are you? Do, do you mind it? Forget it, it doesn't matter, that's not the point. The point is yeah. just I can't, I, I feel like I right now is not, this is just a time that... Sarah, that's fine. We just go as friends, okay? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, sir, did, did you walk into the wrong house? Are you... What? No, I'm Sam. Oh, good, you're home. 
I was hoping I could introduce you before we had to leave. Sarah, this is Sam. Nice to officially meet you. Nice to meet you. Well, now that you know he's real, we'll be on our way. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Yeah. Where are you two going? I'm going to the Miley Cyrus concert. Really? No, but I figured you'd believe anything. <laughs> never gonna guess what I put on these crackers. I'm gonna give you a hint. It's from Southern Finland. Graham, I love you for making all of this food, but I'm in the middle of something really important. Whoa, whoa, hold, hold, hold on. What? Did you just say that you loved me for like the first time? I just meant that. So what's on the cracker? What? Screw the crackers. I want to talk about your feelings for me. Olives? Is it olives? It's rubber, actually. As an edible part to the rubber plant, you just gotta pickle it and roast it. The thing is, in Helsinki, it's considered street food, but you're not supposed to eat the sap because your face. Yeah, is... tell me the after party. One after party. At your place, a total of two of our SVP. Just got told I was loved. Oh, I am so glad that you're here. Oh, you look amazing. Oh, thanks. Uh... My goal is actually for one of Jacqueline's fancy buyers to compliment my outfit and then offer me my own deal to design a affordable but a fashionable line of my own. That's realistic, right? Totally. <sighs> so put me to work. Oh, could you check in with Brenner and Greer and just make sure they're all right? You know, I just know they've never done this before and I'm kind of running around and I'm on it. Okay. Excuse me, have you seen... Whoa, my God. <sighs> I know, it's so me, right? The theme is return to innocence. Are teenagers really returning to innocence these days? Uh, no, that's like never gonna happen. <laughs> How's your interview prep? Uh, I'm probably gonna get fired. You haven't even done the interview yet. I'm not even sure if I should. If I end up looking like an idiot, they're gonna fire me anyway, so it's lose-lose. Why are you assuming you're gonna screw it up? Because it's majorly stressing me out, and I'm like in remission from cancer. The last thing I should be doing is stressing myself out. Maybe I should just try and get out of it so that if they fire me, it's on my own terms. I... Hey, where's your lip gloss? Oh, here, it's in a secret pocket. Is that Rebecca Minkoff? Love. Oh, uh, yep. I had to ask them to take it out of the window display at Saks. Okay, come on, girls, you're up. You look great. Jeez, sorry, I'll leave you alone. Greer, never Wait. mind. to me back Greer. She bought you that purse, right? This is why I didn't tell you. I knew you would make a big deal about it. It obviously is a big deal if you're going out of your way to hide it from me. Are you guys, like, dating again? No, I told you. We're just friends. Then why was she all over you before? I don't, I don't care if you guys are together. I just want you to tell me the truth. Hey, have you guys seen Greer? She's wearing Jacqueline's favorite piece and we can't find her. Wrong. Nothing. I just hate the stress. I know, but we're almost done. I just don't even want to go back out there. No, please tell me you're not serious. Okay, you seem mad at me for what happened earlier. I'm not. It's just this stupid collar is way too high and it just needs to be lower. I wouldn't pull on it like that. I just need to loosen it a little. Greer, stop. No. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I can't handle this tonight. Oh my God. It's okay, it's okay, we'll fix it, we'll fix it. Jacqueline, just um, just give me five minutes and this will all be taken care of. I'll meet you out there, okay? Five minutes. Hello. Night. Hang on, Mom. Can I ask you something? No, I never joined a book club. 
Why didn't you just tell me about Sam? I didn't want to upset you. Why would it upset me seeing you date someone? I knew that saying goodbye to George was hard for you. And I didn't want to be insensitive, flaunting my relationship. I mean, it, it can't be easy seeing your mother get more action than you. Yeah, and, and thank you, by the way, for assuming it was more likely I'd have Alzheimer's than sex. But, no, I remember when Dad died, you saying you were done with men because he was the love of your life. And he was. But going to my reunion put things in perspective. I, I was so excited to catch up with all my old friends and until I realized that most of the people I was hoping to see weren't coming. They were dead. Mom. But that made me think. I'm not dead. So why am I acting like it's too late to live? That, that whole weekend, I had kind of a little crush on Sam, but I didn't do anything about it. I mean, I kept wanting to say something, but it was like I was right back in high school. And then an hour before my train, I thought, I'm in my 70s. If I don't go for it now, it just, it, it'll never happen and I'll miss out on this experience. So I told him. That's so sweet. I kind of wish I'd lived my whole life like that, just acting on my impulses and seeing where it took me. Who knows how much more fun I could have had. <laughs> I mean, with all the attention on the cattle industry, I think moo-moos are really going to be in this season. Just have your people tweet my people. How's Greer? She's fine. She's just going through some stuff lately. What kind of stuff? She really seemed off. Well, she stopped taking her medication, so it's probably just that. Like prescription medication? Yeah, you know, like for mood stuff. So what, she like just went off it? Did she talk to her doctor? Do her parents know? You mean the parents that were going to have me arrested? You don't get it. Her family's not like our family. They're just gonna be super pissed and, like, punish her. But you can't handle this on your own. You shouldn't let her drag you into something so complicated. She's not dragging me into it. I want to be there for her. There's nobody else. But you're a kid. So what? I'm not just gonna give up on someone the minute that they start to have problems. I'm sorry if you can't understand that. I can't even see where Greer ripped this. Since when did you become so great at sewing? Mm -hmm. Practice makes perfect. Well, practice and adrenaline. Oh, Jacqueline, hi. I am so sorry about what happened with that model I recommended. I take full responsibility and I really hope Did that... you know how to tweet? Yeah. God, can you tweet my followers that they can look for my designs soon because all of the buyers wanted them? Really? Uh, I mean, that's... That's fantastic. Oh, you're promoted to first assistant. So I did a good job? You did fine. I just hate meeting new people. Oh, you're also going to need both of these. And as my first assistant, you are never to ride the T. Because I need to be able to get in touch with you 24-7, and I can't do that if you're underground. OK, I'll see you at 7 in the morning. Oh my god, <laughs> this is amazing. Two blackberries? Maybe ones for playing Bejeweled? <laughs> You regret recommending me for this, huh? It's fine. I'm worried about you, though. We've been acting kind of all over the place. Sorry, I'm just confused. About your medication? Maybe? I don't know. 
I only stopped taking them as a way to get back at my parents. They just have so much power over me, like they control my life. But being off of them isn't working either. I thought I'd feel better, but I just feel out of control. And you know, it's hard being around you and not being with you. Greer. You don't want to get back together, do you? It's not that, I just... You're obviously figuring some stuff out right now. And I feel like I should just be there for you as a friend. You want me to plug that in? No, that's okay. I don't want to, like, electrocute you. Sure about that? I didn't mean to sound condescending about the Greer stuff. How is she? She's okay. I'm just trying to be there for her right now. As a friend, she needs me. That's really cool of you. I know how hard it is to be there for someone who's depressed. Leo can't shake it ever since surgery, and it's just making me wonder if I should even try anymore. That's how I felt yesterday. Man, how did we end up picking such head cases? No idea. But I'll have plenty of time to ponder it while I'm unemployed. Why are you so afraid of this interview? Bren, you have no idea how hard these no, no, questions... No, I, I get that it would be scary for most people. But you've lived through cancer. The worst case scenario with cancer is dying. What's the worst case scenario with this interview? It can't be that bad. It's not gonna kill you. Knock, knock. <laughs> Hi. Oh, I'm sorry, in the middle of some. No, I'm just, I'm trying to decide whether I should take this off my shelf. Three different patients have told me this has been giving them nightmares. Well, I say let them have nightmares. I mean, you're a therapist, right? It's gotta be good for business. Good point. You know, I'll try to make this shelf a little scarier while I'm at it. <laughs> See if I got any loose teeth lying around. <laughs> I'll double my income in no time. Well, I expect 10%. Uh, I just came by to see what time you wanted to leave for the Malala talk tonight. I don't have any more clients today, so I'm free to go whenever, as friends. Well, I had a patient, but um, he rescheduled, so. Oh, great. Okay. Well, it's uh, four now. Maybe we should leave around five or so. Sound good? I'll just come back then? Great. Okay. Or... <laughs> what? <sighs> Sorry. I... I didn't... I didn't think I was gonna... <sighs> oh! This is... Rare and I from hands in the end, it's just... <laughs> Carver, let's get started. Why don't you tell me what you were doing at the Newberry house? I went to the Newberry house to get the scoop on whether or not Richie Miranda is being traded to another team. Well, there are ways to pass a drug test without being clean. Is that an implication that Mr. Miranda somehow tampered with the test? All I know is that I'm telling the truth. 
And I don't have to tell you that my job as a journalist is to recount the facts as fairly and accurately as I can. If you could say anything to him, what would you say? I would tell him that I'm sorry for the way things went down. He's not a bad guy. He's sick. And if I had looked the other way, I would have only been enabling his addiction. And I would tell him that I know how hard it is to face an illness head on. Even harder than it is for me to live in Boston right now. You may have heard we're pretty crazy about baseball here. <laughs> Freaking out. What? Richie Miranda, you didn't hear? He just got arrested for a DUI. He's going back to rehab. There's no way they're gonna go forward with that lawsuit now. Good. Good? Really? That's it? I think my cancer's back. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sink or swim. 